Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all of the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I'm April Lauren and I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. It is cold, it is cold here. <laughs> I am recording a full day of eating for you guys today on my weight loss journey and I'm excited, I'm excited to get into it. I, since I was sick the other day, have decided I'm sticking with low glycemic index foods, but, and I'm still leaning low carb. I guess that's what I always have done anyway, is a lean low carb without actually doing low carb specifically. Um, but I am adding oatmeal and sweet potatoes back. Well, oatmeal I really haven't done in a long, long time, but I love oatmeal on cold mornings. So oatmeal is coming back. <laughs> so I'm gonna go make some oatmeal. I have got to go upload my video that's going live today. We'll finish uploading it and pick up some groceries. Then Yuna and I are working out, so let's get to it. Okay, so I'm about to make some oatmeal and it's my first time in a long time making oatmeal. I think I'm gonna use my little electric kettle, so I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I definitely think I went a little overboard on the oatmeal. I've never done it like this before, but I'm feeling good about it and I can't wait to try it out. So I'll let you know what I think. This protein oatmeal is super, super good. I really enjoy it. It's been so long, but here's the nutritional info and let's ride. Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you So I made it and the video has uploaded and I'm just finishing up my blog post and then I'm going to pick up back some groceries so It'll be a fun time. It's really not that cold sitting here in my car. Like the temperature has been much higher and I have felt a lot colder sitting in my car doing this uploading stuff. I'm just drinking some water, working on my video. Well, now I'm working on an image for my blog, but it's like all related. It's all related. I am still filling breakfast and it was so good. I just love oatmeal. Oatmeal is my favorite and this is the perfect weather for it. Oatmeal and chicken. And I really like sweet potatoes. I think I could exist on a diet of just those those three things. There's so many different things. And broccoli. You can do so many different things with those four foods. It's not all together. And maybe eggs. Maybe I'm just going to keep adding things to my list. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stop. But... I'm gonna finish up work here and then go pick up groceries then Yenna and I are working out soon so I, I bought us another heater for the gym because it's so cold <laughs> anyway I'll see you in a minute yeah we're loving the way they think we're so messed up What we're doing is bad There's so many emotions Sharing stories that we never had Yet yeah, none is real I think we're searching for reasons Not to be like them, them. We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us 
So unfortunately, I guess they're out of heaters. I don't know. I guess if I work, worked at Walmart pickup, I wouldn't sub another heater if somebody ordered a heater specifically. But I ended up just going to Lowe's to pick up a heater and it was quite the adventure to say the least. Um, they had listing on their, they, you can see their inventory on their, on your phone. And I'm like, this says you have six. That's a lot. <laughs> they're not on this aisle. And so this dude like went through the aisle with me and he's like, well, they're not here. And I'm like, yep, they're not here. <laughs> Is there a way you can look that up? And anyway, he was super kind. He was super helpful. And finally, somebody came along that knew where the heaters had been moved to. So I got, I got a heater. Like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. Please don't give up on me. At least give me a try. Cause you're the best thing, the best thing. We'll go out easy. <laughs> all right, y'all inside now. Okay, no, go ahead. You came in. So this is what I got. It's not, it's a very tiny haul. I replenished our bananas. I got some heavy whipping cream. I use this in some soups, like the Italian one that I make all the time, or the, um, some extra creamy whipping cream. I got Splenda, and this was supposed to be just straight Splenda, but it's a sugar blend, so this is going back. Um, got some milk. Then I got these smokehouse sausage sticks. I don't know why that happened. Um, and then this roasted shelled pistachios. These happened, I had to run into the dollar store because I didn't order. The Hubs has been wanting barbecue sauce for a minute and I always forget to put it on the order. And Cholula, which I love and we're out of still. So I got me some Frank's Red Hot for random stuff to tide me over until I get Cholula. And then I got him two things of barbecue sauce, ketchup, spinach and arugula. I think I just ordered spinach, but I feel like my order is way off today. Then some chicken breast and sour cream, cheese, and Dawn. So that's it. Oh, and aluminum foil. That's my groceries for the day. <laughs> All right, Yana is on her way, so I'm gonna put this stuff up and get to it. Drink me some of that pre-workout. Alrighty, I'm outside. Got my handy dandy pre-workout. I diluted it a little bit more than usual. I think this probably is about accurate on what you should dilute it, but it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a lot. It's sour watermelon, it's so good, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Anyway, Yuna's almost here, so next time I see you, we'll be moving and grooving, or about to. <laughs>
chicken. Oh, this is new. Today we are doing Coach Cedric's kickboxing workout in a slightly different version of our kettle hill. Uh, first we're going to warm up and just do the usual things. I did want to mention I am so excited. As I have been editing this video, the changes in my body are just so apparent to me. Like it's so clear and not just when I'm editing video, but when I'm looking at myself in the mirror and that's new. It's new for me just to see extreme change. So I'm just so happy. It's been slow. Progress, like visible progress for me has been slow, but it's here and yeah, I'm just, I'm very, very happy about it. And also I'm amazed at my mobility improvements, like the way that I'm able to squat down the, when I put that Peter together earlier in this video, like it's amazing. It's amazing. And it's also amazing that I take stuff like this for granted and did before. And it just makes me very happy. Makes me happy that I can move my body, you know? Also, I wanted to dive in a little more on the quote I shared earlier by Arthur Ashe. You may have missed it because I just did it in an overlay, but I want to add a little bit of motivation to Mondays every week. So I'm going to add a quote in somewhere, but this quote is by Arthur Ashe. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. I love this quote. I feel like there's truly no excuse to not start. There's sure reasons that it's harder or difficult, but if there's a will, <laughs> there's a way not to be overly cliche, but I just love that start where you are. You don't have to start 10 leagues ahead of where you currently are. And there, you don't need to judge where you currently are. Just start. You just start moving forward and you'll start to see progress. Um, truly, there's just, there's no excuse to not start no valid excuse because there is something that you can do whatever your goals are there is something small that you can do that will fit into what you're doing or rearranging your time something small it might not be what you hope that working towards your goal looks like but it's never going to be exactly what you want it to look like pick something small and dedicate a little bit of yourself to it and you'll start to see progress it might take a little bit but yeah truly there just is no excuse to not start and regret doesn't look good on anyone often the path to regret is paved with overthinking and excuses if <laughs> personally if i spent less time overthinking and reasoning if you will with myself i would get a lot more done but you are worth it. You are worth the discomfort of starting, starting over and facing your own demons. You're worth the work and you're beautiful. And don't forget it. Don't you forget it. You are worthy and you're beautiful. So what we did is we slowed down kettle hell for anyone wondering. So we still went through and did the kettle hell workout, which I have done videos on. So I'll try and put tags above and definitely I'll put one at least in the description below, but we slowed it down so that we could really focus on our form. And even though it's not slow for you watching it right now, and then we just did it inside. So we did the, I did the 80 meter farmer's carry on the treadmill. So yeah, <laughs> it was really good. I really enjoyed that I was able to experience the movement slowly I feel like in the way that they compound together I feel like kettle hell happens so fast you don't really feel it until the end and then you just feel everything so it was really cool to feel to feel it all right beautiful people our workout is done I really enjoyed it I enjoyed going slow and controlled with kettle hell I think it's gonna make a big difference I think we might do that at least one more time before the end of the month so it's amazing how fast this month is going it is the shortest month I think I shared that before like February is a hard month for like ambitious goals because it's like just over I guess it's only like two days shorter but it feels it feels such like a tiny week 
tiny week. It feels like such a tiny month. But anyway, I want to thank Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. I am so grateful that they continue to be a sponsor on my channel. I love Built Bars and they have really been a tool that I've been able to use to help me keep cravings or like straying from what I'm trying to do diet wise this year so far and I'm just really really grateful. They have a very low calorie nutrition profile. They have lots of protein. It keeps me satiated. I love the flavor selection. Love it. I've got two of my favorites right here. So the salted caramel and the coconut almond. Coconut almond, I've told you guys this before, but it's kind of like an almond joy. That's kind of, it's what it reminds me of is an almond joy. And then the salted caramel. I don't think it really tastes like anything. My sister said Valentine's Day candy, and I think that that's pretty accurate. It's kind of like one of the, like if you picked up, picked a, like a chocolate caramel Valentine's Day candy, I feel like that's kind of what it reminds me of. And I'm just very, very into built bars. My husband loves them. My sister loves them. Everyone who's had them, because I've been like, built bars, loves them. Um, <laughs> And that makes me really happy. If you would like to try some Built Bars out, use the link in the description below to save 20% off of a one Built Bar order, or you can use code AprilLauren20. So I'm going to make us a quick lunch. I don't know how quick it'll be, but I'm going to make us some lunch. So before I go <laughs> make lunch, I wanted to show y'all something. So I got this little clock. I did have it up on the wall, but it started like... For whatever reason, this wall doesn't want to hold the sticky stuff, so I just put it here, um, which is good. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, but this, my friends, is the remote for this. So see, set, wait, let's do Tabata. Okay. But look. Is that not like the trippiest thing? It just automatically works for these lights, but it's the remote to the clock. So. <laughs> um, it works with them, but I haven't figured out exactly the rhyme and reason of how it works or whatever. But, um, so I was trying to set the clock and like the lights kept dimming in weird ways. And I was like, what's going on? And you know, it's like, what's going on? And she's like, it definitely got darker in here. And I'm like sitting there and I'm like, okay. Cause like sometimes Noah will like look off in a direction and like cheese, just like he's like looking at like me or looking at like Yenna. And it like creeps me out a little bit. Cause I'm like, oh, there's probably ghosts in here. And so I'm like, all right, ghost, quit messing with our lights. Just quit if that's enough <laughs> And um, anyway, finally I realized that as I was pressing the buttons that that's when the lights would shift It wasn't all the buttons but some of the buttons so anyway No, no gym ghost. Let's make some lunch <laughs> I didn't show you all this earlier, but I got this basket. It was only eight dollars from the dollar store It's so nice like it's it's not the heaviest but it's like good quality. I am I'm gonna use it in my office on my shelves. I'm very happy. Anyway, I think the babies, do you want to go outside and play in the snow? Yeah. Oh, you want me to throw you the ball? Okay.
Alrighty, I am super excited about this little concoction that I have put together. I think it's gonna be really, really good. Don't make fun of me. You're a mean person, you know? You're a mean one. Mrs. <laughs> Notice he says Mrs. Grinch because he's the mister. He's the mister to my missus. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna eat and All right, so I am about to hop on the bike. I have been working. I don't my eyes feel so tired, but um I've just been putting together today's video. I've been working on a blog that I'll need to go up tomorrow and yeah, just normal normal work stuff and I'm gonna bike so I'm gonna cycle the hubs is about to start making dinner and I'm pretty excited about it it's hella fresh and it's a bulgogi a beef bulgogi bowl <laughs> I feel like this light is blasting me out I'm not mad at it I'm not mad at the light but <laughs> I'm gonna cycle I'm getting mad at the light better can you see me now <laughs> so I'm gonna cycle watch some YouTube and then we'll grab some dinner I'm in my boxers. Huh? So I'm in my boxers. Really? Yeah, I'm cooking in the box for you. Should I show everybody? Oh, uh, is that what's gonna happen? Yeah. And I think they wanna see. Are these warm too? Maybe you're not too. Just the carrots.
I'm gonna go outside. Good evening, good late evening. My eyeballs are so tired. I think I started complaining about that hours ago. <laughs> I think, was it like lunchtime or was it dinner time? I can't remember. But all day, um, I've been, my eyes have hurt. And I've just been, like not hurt, but I've just been tired <laughs> a little in my eyeballs, just my eyeballs. I just washed my face. Put on some moisturizer i feel like i feel like i've just all of a sudden saw so much change in my face it's pretty amazing anyway i ate a little late night night late night snack and let the pups out which you guys just saw and i also totaled up all of the calories for the day which i will show you right now and I highlighted the carbs in red because I did want to add carbs back, but not by adding carbs back, I just mean I'm adding oatmeal and sweet potatoes back as my body craves them. So right now I've been craving oatmeal like crazy and I'm just going to have it. I don't see anything wrong with oatmeal. Oatmeal has never made me feel bad. It's never been a food that makes me crave other foods. Um, so it's just all, it's always been a good food for me. So sweet potatoes. Yeah. So we're just going to go forward and maybe next week I'll change it. And that's, that's what this is all about is my journey and me figuring out what my body needs and what works best for me. I can't believe we're all in our seventh month. And like, by the time this video goes live, we will be halfway through February. That's just insane to me. It just blows my mind. I am... So grateful for you and I would love to know I don't know if I've ever asked this but I would love to know what you eat so do you set limits on food groups or just on calories or what do you track I would love to know what you do food wise do you meal plan all of all the details just give me all your secrets in the comments below I just want you to know that I love you and I think that you are wonderful. You are special and unique and I'm just grateful that you're here. Grateful that you're here with me and yeah, I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday for Weigh In Wednesday. I hope I don't regret my decision. <laughs> I'll know. <laughs> I'll know in a couple days. <laughs> You'll know in a couple days. <laughs> Good night, guys. Well, happy good morning. Happy Monday. <laughs> Love you. Bye.